Hello, my name is Karak82, and welcome back to our Correct Tech New Horizons Season 2. Uh, last episode, we crafted up our rocket, and now I need some fuel. A bat? Where the heck did a bat come from? Is there like a hole to a cave somewhere? That's can spot in the overworld, right? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, we need some fuel. Now, I'm thinking... Um, I don't know if I'm going to fully automate... I don't think I'm going to fully automate Satane right this second. Um, the best time to do Satane is after a distillation tower and um, a bunch of like HV machines, it's just easier to get it all on the same tier. Uh, right now I have it split up, and uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a pain at the moment. So I'm thinking to get it fully automated, I'm gonna wait, I think. And maybe even after I get to the moon a couple times uh, with, you know, I'll craft up a bunch to get us there, um, and that will help us get into AE and that will help us craft up because it, that will be just require a lot of kind of micro crafting, especially the tetra nitro methane stuff. Although I could manually do this. The actual use for this, I can't remember the final the final thing we're going to do, but uh, it is quite a lot of nitric. And again, we need nitric acid. So yeah, it is actually quite. But uh, the final use for it is somewhere in here. Mixer, is it? Yeah. So you only use 20. But still, if I'm burning that constantly, eh, I guess it'll kind of... Yeah, I don't think I would want to do that. I was just debating whether if we do, like, hand batch 16 buckets of this stuff, how long would that last? Well, let's be quick. Uh, that is... Yeah, one bucket is... One bucket of this stuff will get us 50 buckets of satane boosted diesel. I think I'm just gonna... Eh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm just gonna manually do this at the moment. But, uh... There is a quest for it, and it is locked at the moment. And since this handy-dandy search tool exists, it actually just... Oh, not that one. Um, yeah, there is a quest for it, so I just searched for Satane. And then I was like, oh, that quest isn't up. So then I did Tetra, which is actually right there. But uh, I went back, and it was the Ethanode quest and the Acetic Acid quest that I had to... Uh, do first. So it starts in MV that you have to unlock for that. And I just wanted to do that. Yeah, we're getting MV rewards because it is. That might help us get acetic acid. Uh, do I want to do that? There's been a few quests for fermented biomass and I haven't taken them. It's not the best ratio, to be honest. A thousand to twenty-five, like that's not even gonna get us that much. Let me just take the uh loot bag. The loot bag or the cells I usually take. <laughs> lithium. We definitely do not need lithium. Wait. We automated no, we haven't really automated lithium yet. We will get to a point where lithium is just super easy to get. Um yeah, so uh, I'm doing this quest. I just finished that one. All right, so that opened up Tetra in there. So where is this? Ah, down here. All right, so there was something after the nitric acid. It just was hidden. I really kind of wish quests weren't hidden. Is that a... <laughs> can I turn that off? Is there a config that I can unlock the whole thing? See the whole thing? Because... I spend a lot of time trying to figure out where quests are because I know they exist. 
Uh, see, so I need 24 buckets of nitric acid. All right, so I guess I will do that, and that turns out... All right, so we're actually there. That was... Hmm. That wasn't that bad at all, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so let me do that really quick, and we will be back. Okay, I've actually decided to do a little bit of a detour here and craft up uh, just to help us get the stuff that we need for this. And eventually we this will be used, but uh, I think I'm actually going to finally craft up a large chemical reactor. Um, it's just because nitric acid is kind of annoying. Um, you need to get, you know, nitric dioxide or nitric oxide then you have to get nitric dioxide then you mix that and you get nitric acid but if you have a uh, large chemical reactor you can just mix oxygen gas and ammonia this doesn't exist in a small chemical reactor recipe um, so that just makes this so much easier just just nitrogen hydrogen and oxygen and you get nitric acid and uh, we need the nitric acid for I think I got the math all correct on that. Uh, we need the nitric acid for all the industrial TNT we need anyway. So that will make that a little bit easier. Also, I did get this book with night vision um, from... I think it was like an LV quest when I was finishing up a bunch of quest rewards. Or it might have been one of the space ones. I can't remember. Uh, but I did do that. I think I'm going to throw that on my... My helmet. Is there? Does it show the uses for it? Nah, it doesn't. I thought. I like how you can see. Uh, like, if, can I just have a no? Yeah, I like that in one twelve. That you can uh, see what each thing can be enchanted with. Uh, so before I forget, let's go over here and do that. I'm assuming this can go on a diamond helmet. <laughs> Apparently, whoa. What was that was weird does this not hmm is that is that not an enchanted book i don't know i will we'll see i thought that would it did look weird that it didn't say enchanted book on it it just says book that's just like a fake item and it doesn't say enchanted book uses it just looks like a normal book, actually. Hmm. Maybe that is just, uh, yeah. Maybe that's wrong, or maybe that's just a fake thing, which makes me sad, because I was like, ooh, night vision. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. Yay, large chemical character. Obviously, this isn't <laughs> the whole thing. I have some more crafting up to do, but I just wanted to show that part. Uh, four recipes and this PDF -y stuff that we got quite a while ago. Um, circuits are a bit annoying, but other than that, it is relatively easy. Um, but this is a three by three block. Um, we need, ah, uh, that's right. The PTF -y. Oh, that's actually, wasn't that like, no, I remember. This goes in the middle. Lots of touch of fluoroethylene. Um, I might tear through all this stuff that we ended up getting from before, but this chemical reactor would actually help us to get more of this. So um, we need a cooper nickel coil. I do remember that. Because it sticks out on this thing. Also, there is probably a quest somewhere. That would just give me the exact things that we need. Maybe not. Right there. Yep. Large chemical reactor. We need eight of those. One of those. I think we need more chemically inert machine casings, actually. Uh, just depends on how many output input things do we use. Some of the old recipes can now be done much more easily using circuit 24, skipping one or more steps. Yeah, that's, well, that's actually what we're going to do. Yeah, so I got to, let me get everything crafted up for this. The chemically inert things are just solid steel machine casings with, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. 
excuse me, I didn't mute in time. Um, solid machine steel casings with uh, probably such fluorethylene. All right, uh, just melting up everything that we need here. Uh, kind of underestimated the amount of steel that's going into this thing, actually. Um, for all the... the was it chemically inert? Do I need a, a six? Of course it's a six. <laughs> uh, I need that thing that uh, I can just... The circuit thing for my inventory. Still don't have it, but uh, that was 12 things of... Yeah, 12 things of... Um, polyethylene um, but I need a whole bunch of hatches so that is a ton of steel I'm trying to figure out how many I need so I am placing this kind of down now unfortunately I have this pole in back or this pipe so it's kind of pushed a bit forward I did think about putting it up top but uh, we are quickly starting to outgrow our base I think but I just wanted to kind of figure out how much of this I need I think eight is the bare minimum, but as we can tell, we're going to have two here for the pipe casing goes in the middle. This goes next to it. So usually I put that on the back. So that leaves us with, what does that leave us with? Uh, two maintenance hatch. Input buses, output buses, input hatches, output hatches. All right, so that's everything we need there. Um, I did borrow the energy hatch from right here because, as we know, energy hatches are a pain to make, too. So that would be 6, 12, 13, 14. That's 14 extra spaces that I need to fill. Now, I can either fill it with the chemically inert or the input out buses, input hatches. Um, depends on the recipe. Um question is what's easier to fill them with the chemically inert or the input hatches well in Greg Tech New Horizons I would probably say the chemically inert would be easier because these aren't these aren't the easiest although we can just use polyethylene which is relatively easy to get but having to make tanks is a pain input buses Input buses are easy. It's just a chest, but all right, let me figure out. Usually I do want to do like five. Hmm. All right, well, let's take a look here. Nitric acid, for example, is two and two. No, it's three and the recipe we're going to do is two. We should probably have hmm. I could do like this is going to go in an input bus. Usually, I'm pretty sure. I don't think. Is there an easy way to see the. Re no, that's not it. I can't remember if there's an easy way to see the recipes for the chemical reactor, but. Um, I think five input hatches, five output hatches would be the absolute most we would need. So maybe I should just get prepared. Or I can always use them, you know, if I want to break down for specific recipes. Um, I do have ideas what I want to for my end game base. I do have some ideas what I want to do with lots and lots of chemical reactors. I'm probably going to do it differently than my first season. Um, all right, let me. I'm just yammering away here. Let me get this built and we will be back. Also, uh, I was debating putting a muffler on there, but I kind of like knowing when it finishes, to be honest. Eventually, this is going to be all automated, and we will have a muffler on it. But um, I'll leave... I can even throw this in there. It doesn't, this doesn't need to be crushed down, but uh just gets it out of my inventory, to be honest. Um, yeah, all this steel that I need 
I need lots and lots of iron, so that's why I'm doing that. All right, we'll be back. All right, uh, just crafting up the final piece here. The tanks. The cool thing about this now is the clear glass. We can actually just smelt it in the blast furnace. But, uh, yeah, just making the glass for the tanks. Um, also, the obsidian dust, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but uh, if you pulverize an obsidian, you get one. But if you send this obsidian through an alloy smelter, you actually get nine ingots, and then each nine ingots, each ingot pulverized down into obsidian dust. So, yeah. Uh, don't pulverize 48 obsidian for all this glass. Well, obviously, I am doing it. Um, where did I put my, where did I put that glass? <laughs> where did I put my thick of glass? Oh, what am I talking about? It's in there. Right. I'm getting myself confused here because we are talking. All right. So there is the tanks. Um, I think I'm going to do, we'll just do six input hatches, six output hatches and an input bus and an output bus. So we'll just fill up as much as we need. And then as we progress in the pack and then I have more specific fluids, this is kind of like a general chemical reactor. But um, like as we progress more and start doing specific chemical reactors for specific gases and fluids, um, we will tailor the amount of hatches and input hatches for it. So I did one input bus, one output bus, and then six output hatches, six input hatches, and that will be my chemical reactor. Also, I totally forgot we had the cupernipical coils from the original blast furnace, so I didn't actually have to craft up any more, which is cool. All right, so just waiting on that. Did I screw up? I did. How did I mess that I messed my math up. What did I need? I thought I did 40. Uh, oh, I need 48. Yeah. Whoops. I don't know why I was thinking I only needed 45. I did, in fact, craft up enough. I just didn't do that. All right. So, yeah, like I said, this is going to make getting a lot of these complicated things much, much easier. Especially uh, touch of fluoroethylene and all of that. So, one, two, no, I need to turn all these in. And then, uh, yeah, this will be that. So, all right. So, the first one we're going to do is the ammonia. We will check that out. Uh, where did I? Wait a second. Oh, I already put them on. Getting myself confused. Uh, I need gold cable. I think I only need the one. Also, totally forgetting that I have a backpack now. All right, do energy hatch. There. There we go. So I'll put hatches on this side and hopefully this works. It does say eight chemically inert things is the minimum. All right, there we go. It does indeed work. Do I have tape left? I have one tape left. I have to craft up more of that. You can just do the tools on it, but I just find that is actually much, much easier, although it does look pretty bad. <laughs> but uh, all right, so there we go. There is our large chemical reactor. Um, let me get 72 buckets of hydrogen, which is actually convenient because I produce hydrogen way more than oxygen, and I use more oxygen. So basically, the ammonia recipe that we're going to need actually doesn't need... 
yeah, doesn't need a circuit, which would go in the input bus. That's why I have that kind of right in front. So hydrogen, nitrogen, and oh, that one doesn't have a little button to turn on. There we go. All right, cool. So that will craft that up. Um, not super fast at this point, but uh, yeah. And I believe you can actually put, you can actually set these to lock on the fluid, I, I think. I don't remember the exact way to do it, but uh, there we go. Output item and one specific fluid. So yeah, there we go. That's actually locked to ammonia, which is pretty cool. Um, the one kind of annoying thing with it is you actually need the fluid in it to lock it, I believe. Um, and I don't think you can input fluids into like an input hatch. Like I can't do that. I don't think. No, it's it won't go in an output hatch, unfortunately. So that is a bit annoying. But uh, other than that, um, not too bad. But man, is that that is much much easier <laughs> than the way we were doing it before. So nitric acid. Yeah, let me do it that way. Um, now we can just do ammonia and oxygen. Um, a lot of oxygen actually. Four times twenty four is eighty. 96. So, yeah, a lot of oxygen. But uh, eventually, this will be, like I said, fully automated. Um, probably with dedicated, I will be doing like dedicated chemical reactors, I believe. All right. Anyway, that is that. And then the nitric acid gets mixed with, we could probably even do it in here. Yep. Ethanone. We mix the 24 buckets of nitric acid with the ethanone and we get tetronitromethane and water. Now, one thing you do have to be careful with the chemical reactor is that it will void materials if it is full. Be careful if the fluid output attaches are full, the reactor will void any extra products. That is pretty typical for Greg Tech New Horizons. But uh, all right, so let me get the tetranitro something something and let me get a mixer for the cetane boosted actually we can even do it in there i didn't realize you could even do that in the chemical reactor wow um same ratio 10 buckets uh it's like times two um but you don't have to worry about cells and mixers and all that stuff. i don't think this chemical reactor recipe was nope the 24 is like a new recipe, I believe. Um, that wasn't a thing before. You did have to do a mixer. So, all right, I'm getting ideas <laughs> for later builds, which is really cool. All right, we'll be back and uh, I will start filling up the rocket. And I think we're ready to go. I don't think we need a spacesuit, do we? I don't think we need a spacesuit for to like breathe on. Do we? Man, I don't remember. Should probably double check that. I don't think we need a spacesuit as long as we have. No, this stuff. This is my oxygen mask and stuff. Uh, it's not like advanced rocketry. The spacesuits are for later. They protect us from uh, crazier atmospheres. Be right back. And one thing uh, just to be careful of, especially if you're using smaller smaller output hatches uh be careful with all the water you get from this recipe because that can quickly fill up all these hatches and then you're going to start voiding uh something that you um are something important like uh like this so uh there we go i did the all that and we should have yes there is that quest I'm not going to take that yet, but uh, there we go. 128 buckets of uh, cetane boosted diesel. Hog is a different path, and you need to go. I don't know if we're going to do high octane gasoline this, this season. I didn't think the effort was really worth the effort, to be honest. But uh, all right, 
There we go. We will do that. And uh, we just need lots and lots of fuel. Now, I got to be a little careful here with taking too much fuel out of this. Uh, I need, what do I need? 60 buckets of it. I think we're good. But uh, it's just going to take a second to do that. So let me, I guess we don't need all this. But I would like to finish this quest at least. Um, right? Yep. There it goes. Um, I could set the thing here. Sure, why not? Let's do... That can only be Satane Boosted Diesel. And I would do like that. I'd probably put it somewhere else, though. Yeah. So, uh, I think definitely having dedicated... It's much better to have dedicated output hatches or have much bigger output hatches. I only did LV, but... Uh, yeah. So, I'll be back. Not unsurprisingly, I totally miscalculated the amount of <laughs> fuel that we needed. Uh, I needed 128 buckets. Well, actually 130 because you need 10 per thing. But, uh, all right, so there is that. I just wanted to get that quest done because who knows if what is locking that. Now, I was debating whether I should just switch out the fuel in there. But again, it is not. I think I'm just going to keep this until I get this fully automated. So we'll put that in there. I probably need... I don't know. I don't want to bring it all, obviously. We got that. We got that. I think we are ready to go to space. I think. <laughs> I'm sure we will probably die. And oh, that is totally on the wrong side. And I don't have an axe on me. All right, and one thing to be mindful of, I totally remember this. Um, it, it, you have to have this yellow dot to pipe stuff in, uh, fuel in. Um, I was trying with a, uh, a tank and a pump on this side, and I realized it was probably need to throw it on the other side because the green dot is on this side, and that is for power but uh we don't need that all right so that should actually that might have actually filled that up how many i don't remember how many buckets i was gonna put put eight in that's four i think i actually don't know how many <laughs> i can't tell how much because we're i don't want to lose that no i might be able to get that back out yeah, I might lose four because I need to break this or craft up a second one. Um, the easiest thing would be to craft up a second one so I can just bring that with. Okay, uh, I just decided to break it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so there we go. We are in a thing. Uh, let's, man, I can't remember how to look at the inventory. None. <laughs> Why? Why is that such a none? No. Do I need uh search Galacticraft? Uh, it might be one of these. I do kind of need to know how much what about inventory. Open spaceship inventory. Uh, subtract. Divide. Oh, <laughs> decimal one, two, three. Come on, I need something. Button four. No. Does it work? All right, it works. There we go. That's what I needed to see. So uh, there we go. I think we are ready to go to space. We got our oxygen. We got everything. I got glowstone torches. Got this. Um, I don't know. We got our fuel loader. Well, apparently, if we open a backpack, we get 
booted out uh extra fuel we got extra oxygen we got a battery to fuel it i think we are ready um but i did just do a i did just do a um <laughs> a backup just in case but uh all right here we go there is the uh launch and uh we are heading to the moon there we go it brings the rocket pad with us but it doesn't bring a way to fuel it so you do have to bring the fuel loader but uh yeah there we go we are heading to the moon um don't know if it's going to be day or night i haven't been able to ever figure out what the cycle is <laughs> it it goes by the day cycle and it's something by the phase of the moon so we could be going into the day we could be going into night i am not entirely sure um but as we can see uh we are burning through at a decent clip so you definitely need to bring extra fuel i believe and um, we are going to burn over 50 percent if i remember uh, at least with this rocket also oh there's the moon uh there's earth or the overworld and uh there we go so fortunately we have run out of time but we are in space next episode we will go ahead and land on the moon and see if we can find on the moon so that is going to be it for this episode thanks for watching and have a good one